Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on what is DAX in Power BI. Do you know friends that DAX in Power BI allows designer to create complex measures and improve the visualization. The applied DAX with Power BI has a variety of functions that can be used to execute DAX query in the Power BI. Now before we move on and learn more about what is DAX in Power BI, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So let us discuss our agenda first. We are going to start with what is DAX. Moving ahead, we are going to learn about why to use DAX. Then we are going to learn about DAX formula syntax. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss the DAX function. And at the end, we are going to conclude our session with types of DAX function. So let's start with what is DAX. DAX in Power BI is a kind of an expression or we can say data analysis expressions which are a collection of formulas, functions, operators and constants that allows a user to create measure, dimensions and custom tables. They return one or more values and are used to solve data analysis problem thus creating a new relationship between different data variables. DAX language is very useful as it allows a data analyst to perform advanced calculations and discover a hidden pattern in an unstructured data set. The complete code of an expression is always a function or a nested function with conditional statements, value references, formulas or loops. It's important to formulate as they are evaluated from the innermost to the outermost functions. Now let us discuss the data types in DAX. Basically there are two primary data types in Power BI. The first one is numeric and second one is non-numeric. If I talk about a numeric data it seems pretty evident that numeric data type includes decimal, currency values, integers, etc. Whereas non-numeric data type consists of strings, binary objects and many more. I hope so you would have got a basic idea regarding the data types which are used in Power BI DAX functions. Now let's move forward and understand why to use DAX. DAX functions has a great importance and they are very important to learn as they help you to implement functionalities like data transformation and visualization. With a basic knowledge of Power BI interface, you can create decent reports and share them online. However, for calculation and dimensional analysis, you need to know how Power BI DAX functions are carried out. For example, you can calculate the growth percentage and visualize the growth percentage in different regions of a country to compare data over the years. DAX in Power BI helps a designer to create new measures which in turn helps a business to identify the problems and find the appropriate solutions. I hope so, you would have got a clear picture that why should you use DAX. Now let's move forward and understand the DAX formula syntax. So breaking down a statement into individual elements help you understand any language with ease. It's important that you study the syntax of these expression and be able to create the new ones. So let us consider the image shown. In this image, it represents a custom formula used to create new columns by multiplying the values of the other two columns. Let's break it down. So first we have the test column, the name of the new measure. Then we have the sign, which indicates the starting of your DAX formula. Then we have the unit sold and manufacturing price. Then we have this operator which acts like a multiplier. Then we have the segment. Now if I chop it down, the test column means name of the new measure, whereas equal to sign indicates the starting of your DAX formula. Bracket unit sold and manufacturing price are these two arguments or columns whose values are used to generate the output. Whereas the star operator multiplies the values of two column variables. And on the other hand, segment represents the classifications of the corresponding formula. Unlike the regular column, the calculated columns are necessary to have at least one. Now, let us see on the image. So you can see you have this test column. Then you have the custom column formula where it equals to units sold into manufacturing price into segment and equals to. I hope so you would have got a brief idea about the DAX formula syntax. Now let us discuss the DAX calculation types. DAX in Power BI has two types of calculations or formulas used to generate a resultant value from the input value. 
The first one is the calculated columns. Calculated columns are used to merge new columns into existing one with the filters. These columns can be created from modeling tab in Power BI Desktop where new columns can be created by entering their names and formula. Then we have this calculated measures. Measures enable the user to create fields with aggregate values like average, ratio, percentage and etc. Just like the calculated columns, the measures are created from modeling the tab of the Power BI Desktop. I hope so guys, you would have got a brief idea about what are the calculation types in DAX. Now let's move forward and discuss the DAX functions. If I talk about the DAX functions, DAX functions in the Power BI are predefined formulas which are used to calculate the arguments in a function, executed in a basically particular order. These arguments could be numbers, constants, text, another function or formula and logical values such as true or false. These functions perform a particular operation on one or more arguments in a DAX formula. Now let me tell you some of the key points that you should remember regarding the DAX functions. First of all, DAX functions in Power BI will never refer to the individual values. They always refer to a complete field, column or a table. However, you have to create filters inside a DAX formula if you want to use a DAX function on the individual values. Then you have the DAX functions can also be applied for separate rows without any filters. The calculation can be applied based on the context of each row. Then the DAX uses the time intelligence functions to calculate the time and date ranges, which we will discuss little bit later. And finally, these functions can sometimes return the entire table, which can be used as an input for the other DAX functions in Power BI. However, the user cannot display these output tables returned by the functions. Now let's move forward and get a clear picture regarding the types of DAX functions. So these are the types of DAX functions. First of all is date and time function. If I talk about a date and time function, similar to the Excel, these functions are used to calculate the date and time periods in a date time format. So let me give you an example of the date and time function. So consider this example of a DAX calendar function. The start date and the end date arguments could be any date time value. For example, if we take this syntax, so you have to write calendar, then inside the parenthesis, there will be a start date and there will be an end date. So suppose I write something like cow days calendar inside date 2020-41, date 2020-65. So the output of the following function would be 65. I hope so. This is how it works. Now, let me give you an example of another date and time DAX function, which is DAX date diff function. If I talk about this function, the date diff function calculates the difference between two dates and returns in terms of interval boundaries given specified by the user. Now, let me show you an example of a same. So, you can see this is a date and time function used in DAX, which is date diff, where will be starting date end date and the interval. So suppose date def date 2020-1-1. So this will be the starting date, this will be the ending date and this will be the interval. Similarly, date 2020-1-31 and in this and the argument is hour. So it's gonna return the 720. I hope so you would have got a fair idea regarding how date def function works and what is its syntax. So basically I have given you two examples of date and time DAX function. Now let's move forward and discuss the next one. The next DAX function is time intelligence functions. The time intelligence functions allows the user to calculate the time values over a fixed period of time, such as weeks, months, quarters and years. These functions are mainly used to calculate aggregation per data manipulation and business intelligence with table of data as an input. So suppose an example of the same function is DAX date add function. So if I talk about the DAX date add function, it returns a table with the columns of date shifted either forward or backward based on the specified interval of time. Let me give you an idea about what is the syntax of date add function. So you can see 
it is the date add function. The syntax for the same will be date add parenthesis dates number of intervals and intervals. For example, you would be having date add and inside the parenthesis there is product inventory and inside that there is inventory date and then one or year. So if you match this, this is the date, then the number of intervals and then the intervals. So these are the arguments which this function considers. I hope so, you would have got a fair idea regarding the date add function, which basically comes under the time intelligence function. Now let's move forward and discuss the next function, which is the logical functions. If I talk about the logical functions, logical functions are used to perform logical operations and return them as either true or false. So suppose I use the DAX AND function. The DAX AND function checks if both arguments are true or false. It will return true if and only if both arguments are true, otherwise it will return false. So let me show you the syntax for the same. So consider this logical function which is AND in which you will have argument 1 and argument 2. Okay. For example, AND country equals to USA and medal equals to gold. If it is there, then it will return true or either it will return false. I hope so, you would have got a fair idea regarding the AND function. Now let's move forward and discuss the next DAX function. The next function is trigonometric functions or the mathematical functions. These functions are very similar to the mathematical and trigonometric functions of Microsoft Excel. We are used to perform all sorts of calculations in Power BI. Some of the other popular mathematical and trigonometric functions are like squared. Let me show you an example of that function. So this is the DAX squared function which basically returns the square root of a number. Suppose SQRT 36, so square root of 36 will be 6. So the answer it will return is 6. It's pretty simple, I hope so you would have got a fair idea like what is mathematical and trigonometric functions. Now let's move forward and discuss the next function. Next we have a statistical functions. The statistical functions carry out the DAX expressions which are used in statistical models and aggregations. Some of these functions are like DAX beta this function or you can have DAX confidence in norm function and for example you can also have geomi. Let me show you an example and it will be pretty clear what are the statistical functions. So consider this statistical function called geomi. So the syntax would be geomi and column name. Basically this function will return the geometric mean of the given column at decimal places. So it is going to return geomean sales and sales amount. So the geometric mean of this column name which is sales is gonna be returned with the parameter is a sales amount. I hope so you would have got a fair idea regarding this statistical function. The next function is the text functions. Text functions allows the user to work with the strings in tables and columns. You can get a substring, perform different operations like string concatenation and some of these functions would be like DAX exact function, DAX concatenate function, then you would have DAX find function. Let me show you an example of the same. So consider this DAX exact function. Exact is a case sensitive function and it compares the two given strings. The function returns true if they are exactly the same, otherwise it returns false. So for example, in this the syntax is exact string 1 and string 2. So suppose we are measuring this word called sport and sport. So exact results sport and sport. So it's gonna return true if this value is same, which is pretty evident that it is the same value, so the answer would be true. I hope so you would have got the fair idea regarding this text function. Now let us discuss our final function which is the parent child function. The parent child functions are used to manage the data and represent it in a hierarchical order. Some of these functions would be DAX path function, DAX path contain functions, then DAX path length function. These are the few of the example. Let us see a syntax of the DAX path function. So consider this DAX path function. Starting from the oldest, the function returns all the identifiers in a form of a delimited string. So its syntax would be path, child column name and parent child column name. For example, path, there will be employee ID, employee manager ID. So it's gonna return all the identifiers in a form of a delimited string. I hope so, you would have got a fair idea regarding this function. 
that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching this video on what is dax in power bi just a quick info guys intellipad provides power bi online certification training in partnership with microsoft mentored by industry experts the course link is given in the description below